Welcome back to John's Garage, the place where we are making your scout your dream scout. Now, today what we're talking about is electronic fuel injection for the scouts. Now, if this is your first time you're here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the scouts and doing, you know, the scout entertainment for the scout community. So today it's a special, special time. Come on in, the friend. All right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. John. Good to yeah. have you. Thanks, man. Nice to have you in my yes. garage. Yes, thank you. I'm John from Nashville Early Bronco. Yeah, duh, like And this everywhere. is Matt from Matt's Garage. <laughs> yeah. Matt, Matt and I, I mean, go way back on Broncos. And, uh, God, it's been wow. It has been. Two years. I was trying to think, yeah. Yeah, two years. Matt came to my garage and helped me with my install. Uh, the body, body lift. lift. Yes. Yeah. So yes, we were lubricating something. I don't know. <laughs> <that was. laughs> this is my first time in the Matt's garage. And it, what how fitting is this? Big day. I'm I'm very much an EFI guy. Oh yes. How's and the ProFlow working out by the way? ProFlow is amazing. This will probably go out video. before my install oh, video man. happens. <laughs> but ProFlow is incredible. I love it. It is a lot better than the Phytech. So uh, check those uh, check those videos out when they come out. Yeah, right. man, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, but today is my EFI day. Now, the Pro Flow had the nice glossy box with the photo of the like the, box the was huge. macro of the grains uh, on the aluminum, and you could see this. This is this is not that. So we're going to do an unboxing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this system. Tell us a little bit about this system. Okay, I will. So this is from a company called Affordable Fuel Injection. You heard of them before? No. No one's ever heard of them before. Never They're heard of them. They're kind of like Howl EFI. Have you heard of Howl EFI? No. See, I, I'm a weird guy. That's why, you know. Well, this is a Chevy thing though, right? No, they do <laughs> Jeeps, they do Fords, they do all kinds of stuff. So let's get you in closer and show you what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah, there you go. Wow, it's so nice to have a camera <laughs> system. It really is. Dude, <laughs> affordable fuel injection. American company, American guys. You can call them up, talk to them anytime. Uh, this is the gasket, and it's basically a throttle body injection system. So let's pull that out. Oh, John, it's your favorite. Wiring. Wiring. Now, this, what's interesting about this wiring setup is it's handmade for every application. So if you go to the affordable fuel injection website uh, and you choose the optimum kit, which is what this is, it'll ask you a series of questions. For example, do you have an automatic or manual transmission? Uh, do you plan on running a fan off of it? So it's bit, and you can actually have the lengths extended um, if you want to run things a longer way. You just call them up and tell them what you want, but the real, one of the main reasons why I really like this kit is OBD2 port. So you can plug in any diagnostic tool and it runs just like a factory system. Right, so also like the ProFlow, which is a huge advantage, comes with a locked out distributor with timing control. So that's a, that's a big advantage. Now, if you go with the legacy kits, um, they come with just sort of a standard GM computer. But when you go with the Optimum kit, uh, it, well, I won't take it out of the bubble wrap, but it comes with this um, heat resistant um, ECU with its own proprietary programming. So you can mount this in the engine bay, you can mount it under your dash, but it's pretty thin. It's just, you know, the whole, this is the same with the ProFlow, the bulky sort of connectors, but there's really no way around it. Um, so I gotta figure out where to mount this, but it's, it's pretty nice. And there it is, man. There is the throttle body injection system. 
with the plate to adapt it to a normal square bore carburetor. So this is a tried and true Siemens injectors that you find on all the Chevy um, TBI units, uh, your standard you know, vacuum ports or whatever. And then on this side is your uh, fuel inlet and return. Looks like a 3 8 inlet and a 5 16 return. So, and I was dying to get this because I wanted to see how they set this up. So this is a barb fitting. I got to figure out how to get my nylon line over that and that. But other than that, you know, three connectors and then the, the injector connectors. So pretty simple system. Comes with everything you need, including a 50,000 volt ignition coil, uh, the GM style. So if you, if you, uh, what's nice about this is you don't have to do a lot of like cheesy um, connections. If you just buy the GM style pigtails, it slips on like an OEM and then it's got the mount that comes with it to bolt onto your uh, intake manifold. Then what's more in the box is all your solenoids. Um, I don't even know what this is. Looks like a fuel filter. Oh, it actually comes with the pigtails. Boom. I can return the ones I bought. <laughs> and then the wide band O2 sensor. Now, part of the reason I bought this kit was very recently they started including the wide band O2 sensor in the price of the Optimum EFI. So at that point, it was like, it just put it in my price point and I ordered it. What else you got in what is this? Idle air control. Oh. I don't know. Right. I gotta read the instructions. <laughs> so this is the most important part of your electronic fuel injection system. So when I installed the Phytech on my Ford 302, um, the Phytech dumbly came with these like uh, just clamps that you'd tighten down to your exhaust yeah. that held on. Right, it's this. like a plate that sits over with a bung in yes. it and then you tie it with hose clamps? No one ever do that for your exhaust system, no matter what they say, because this, this thing right here reads the air fuel ratio coming out of your engine. And if this is at all getting any fresh air in from your headers, if you have a header leak, from any point in your exhaust, if there is a leak within like 17 inches of this thing, then your engine is not gonna run right. It's either gonna, it's gonna run too rich because you've got fresh air coming in, mm. screwing up this sensor and it's gonna read completely wrong. Your plugs are gonna foul. Like it's just, it messes it up. So this is the most important thing. You know, I couldn't believe it when you told me this because like, an exhaust leak, they're so tiny, right? It's yeah. just a tick, 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 yeah. but it's enough to yes. throw it off. Yeah, it That's throws crazy. it off, you waste gas. Because like EFI systems, they all run, you know, it, it like uh, the way that I put it is an EFI system is gonna magnify any problems that your engine has where a carburetor, you just kind of tune it out. You know, it's oh, like, you oh, fuel it, or... yeah, like make it a little richer, like do this, do that. But with the EFI system, especially the Phytech, it just really magnifies any problems. Now what I've had with the Edelbrock is it, <laughs> it has masked so many problems. Like it works so good that it's like, it almost oh, works nice. too good. Yeah, but nice. so hopefully that's the case with this as well. Man, reliability is key. That's gonna go on my Chevy 350. I figure yeah. now is just a good time to tell them the engine plan. So I'm gonna take Let's them over. Let's do it. Right here are Vortec, GM Vortec heads, uh, Edelbrock intake manifold, four Vortec heads, and a Lunati Voodoo cam. So when I throw these on there with the TBI, I'm gonna have a system that's reliable, makes good power, it should be very low maintenance. And that is actually part of the reason that drove my decision to get that. Not that there's anything wrong with the ProFlow. The ProFlow is, it sounds like from John, it's an amazing system. It's got a lot of tunability options that I don't have, but I didn't want tuning. I wanted something that was like OEM tested, reliable. You know what I'm saying? And maybe the ProFlow is that, and we're gonna find out from John as he does follow-up videos and what do you call them when you do the video after a while? I don't know. Like, you know what I'm talking two about? Two-year review. Yeah, like the two-year review. reviews. So I'm looking forward. We'll both do them. Yeah. So you guys will see, hey, 
How's Matt liking the affordable fuel injection? How's John liking the ProFlow? I do know that the affordable fuel injection guys, you can email them, they get back to you. I asked them a ton of questions before I bought it. He was very patient, went over with me on the phone. I asked him about coils and distributors. He explained the whole thing to me. The website's not that advanced, so if you have questions, just call them up or shoot them an email, they'll get right back to you. Yeah, I mean, you're, if you compare it to the ProFlow, you get sequential, sequential, is that what it's called? Uh, it's, actually, it's actually bank. Oh, bank, bank injection. Bank injection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get bank injection, and you get the manifold. So my, I had to pay for my manifold, and yours is way prettier. One hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah, but yours is way yeah. prettier. No, the Vortec ones are a little pricier. But uh, I mean, that's not. You're doing something like this. It's you know. But yeah. yours also comes with a fuel pump, right? No. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, I know you already had one. I already had one, and then I had to buy a fuel pressure regulator, and I had to buy a fuel relay switch because so it's not uh, return style it is return style but you still need to regulate it down to some psi because because i tried to make the phytech fuel pump work with it instead of just going and buying an edelbrock fuel pump oh i had to then buy a pressure regulator because it was different psi oh, i see and then i had to buy a relay switch because it is ground switched instead of positive oh switch yeah yeah power switched whatever yeah so that was all a mess. Yeah. That. I'm looking forward to seeing the, yeah. the details on that. This one, who knows when I'm going to install it, but whatever. I got a lot of work to do on this thing. Yeah. Yet. But I'm excited to have it. And I wanted to get it because, like you see, I already ordered the pigtails and it came with the kit. It That's came awesome. with the coil mount. It came with the distributor cap, which I didn't think it was going to. So, you know, I wanted to get this stuff so I could figure out what I had and what I didn't. And now I'm, I'm golden, man. Yeah. It's anyway, awesome. Thanks for coming Dude. out, man. Yeah, Good thanks see for you having again. me. And uh, I will see you next time on somebody's garage. I don't know. If John's it's garage, John's, Matt's garage. Matt's, I don't know. Somebody. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> <laughs> nice.